The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire, and he will put your wiener in his mouth. Please welcome back Mr. J. P. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's enough. Wow. That's enough. <laughs> I never, I, I, I'm always so not ready until I hear my music and then I'm fucking yeah. so pumped and ready to go. Yeah, yeah I know. I, that's, that was good, I, wasn't it? Suit you you, you like that, didn't you? you? Okay. Like, duh, duh, yeah. duh, duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, we do have an excellent stand-up comedian in for the very first time. Let me tell you about him. He is an excellent stand-up comedian from the Wichita, Kansas area, and uh, we've been wanting to have him on the show for a very long time. Uh, shut the fuck up, JP. Um, <laughs> such a piece of shit. But he's an actual stand-up comedian who actually and is. Don't adjust th- your yeah, sense, Yeah, that's folks. right. But an actual black guy. Yeah, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Uncle Bam. What's going on? <laughs> Laughing on the sidelines. Thank y'all for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I heard I had to cut my dress to be on. Yeah, here. yeah, you were a little too black for Scotty for a while. <laughs> what there. the fuck? Yeah. Uh, we were trying to get you on, man. I've been trying to get you on for a while, but you know, Scotty's. Yeah, I've heard. I, I'm learning. I mean, God damn it! What the fuck? <laughs> You're yeah, such I mean, a dick. A few weeks ago, he paid a bunch of black people to call into the show. Oh my god. The show. And, uh, My best so, friend yeah. called in while we were doing the show, and that's what happened. Oh, okay, so up. how many out of your black friends is he the best friend of? Oh no, he's one. He's just the only. Yeah, black we, friend? we we play no. Uh, we play bitty basketball. Like, do you have more black yeah. friends, yeah. or and then he's yeah. the best of them? Uh, like, he's no, the best friend of no. those. Come or? on, no, no. We played bitty basketball together, and then it just kind of went from there. So uh, I don't know how many I have. If that's what you're asking, but no. he's number one. I disagree. I think you do know. They know. Y'all know. <laughs> JP knows how I, many he has. I know. And JP has a lot. It, it, True. Do you really? Oh, dude. Yeah. Ex boyfriends? I, I mean, both. Oh, okay. All right. I, mean, so I, I have a lot of. That's even on another boys. level. He's, right. lo- he's sleeping with them. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. There, yeah. ain't, <laughs> hey, there ain't a whole lot of sleeping going on. If you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and uh, very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make people who have very thin skin offended. So if you're people like Derek, you might it might take a little bit. It might. It Derek. might. Poor Derek. Uh, yeah, but I, if you have very I'll thin skin right and you're easily offended, you're in the wrong fucking place. So get the fuck out of here and thank you and goodbye. Uh, but yeah, we have a great episode for you today. Uh, this is the Thanksgiving episode. I don't know why I gave applause to that. Uh, I mean, I don't know because everybody's already decorated for Christmas. This is ridiculous. So stop it. I don't it. even know it's, why we're doing things. It's not even fucking but December yet. Fucking stop it. All um, right. Yeah. You're right. Not, okay. Not yeah, to be right. around the people. That's true. <laughs> right. But no, you're not wrong there. You're either. not wrong. Uh, but as usual, we have hot topics. Uh, we have overrated or underrated. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas is always a draft and a shitty situation to sh- shitty situation to wrap, wrap this shit up. But uh, as always, we're going to kick this uh, show up uh, off with a uh, week, week recap. And uh, as always, we're going to start off with uh, JP. Because JP did nothing. Yep. Absolutely, I did absolutely nothing. nothing. Which is sad. You know what? It really is, man. I I, want, it's actually starting to get to me. I was today I was like, man, I just, I just sat at home all day and mm-hmm. I cried a little, like, cause I got no friends and I got no family and fucking, it's what the all, fuck it's am just I? me. I'm all alone. 
and I don't have any money. All I got is me, me and my ganja. Oh, okay. That's all I got. What, where the fuck am I? I'm okay with it. I decided. I'm oh, okay. fine with it. You're fine, fine with, it? with it? Yeah. Okay. No, you're my best friend. Man. I know. Are you kidding me? Me and you. We and, go, and you're not his. Tight. It's the black dude. No, that's not true. No, Michi's my best friend. But yeah, beside that, says. I mean, you're, air. you're definitely yeah. up there. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, dude. Okay. Yeah, you, right. know, you know I love you. You could obviously, obviously call me. <laughs> I'm just, I was just, I was asleep. <laughs> most oh, of okay. Well, that's fair enough. Did you bowl? I bowled. How'd you bowl? Horribly. Okay, that's good. It, it pissed me. Oh, man, I'm still pissed <laughs> off it's for the same reasons as I was last week, man. I Yeah. What, like, you, you throw a ball. Yeah, and I get within two boards of my fucking target and fucking down lane target. Okay. And then my ball doesn't strike, and then I watch some fucking jackhole throw a backup ball with the wrong hand fucking... Strike every time. Just so it's like me. It out on the lane no matter where he hits. It's like you're bowling against me. <laughs> it's like I'm bowling Derek. Yeah. This, yeah. this sounds uh-huh. like hell or, for or you. Me. It is hell. So I'm like, out there with a limp and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not the lid. That's not a limp. That's the Detroit lean. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I'm from Jesus. Michigan. So. Look, yeah, uh, Are you really? Yeah. So you're a Detroit fan anyways? No, I don't. I'm not a fan of any sport. Okay. Team. okay that's fine. I just like, that's fine. I like talking stuff about everybody's like team. That. Let yeah. me break something down to you, though. It's a good time to be a Detroit Detroit Lions fan. I'm just throwing that out. I I, I, I wasn't even a fan when Barry was there. Oh, that's bad. And I actually know the family. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Barry's fucking awesome. I was a fan of him. You know, I cheer for like I'm an individual cheer because I'd either play with a few players. I know some of the coaches. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Because my brother he coaches for Michigan State now, but he's done coach for KU, Houston University, Purdue. Okay. All right. We'll allow it. It's totally acceptable here. Yeah. Uh, what I was gonna say though, with uh, damn it, I forgot. I was gonna I was gonna say something with about with the bowling. The, no, well, it wasn't bowling. Uh, I was trying to get JP off of the bowling because it's not a real sport and athletic people. <laughs> you know what? If LeBron James, bro, you're a golfer, man. No, I'm not. You are not anymore. No, I, you moved on to guns and bourbon. Correct. <laughs> That's exactly right. Rich people fucking yeah, kill me, bro. See, <laughs> oh, my God. You guys. I still why you golf. Say you don't have black friends. I still uh, golf. But guns uh, and still. bourbon runs us away. We, snowboarding. We're God. I'm uh, not hanging out with snowboarding? bourbon and gun owners, y'all. Dude, the best snowboarder in the world right now is a black guy. Somehow. Well, well, because they are good at everything. They are. They, they, but they, he, they took he, over he hockey. Didn't, he didn't grow up in the hood. Mm. Uh, it's questionable. It's just the hoods are so snow. So when did he get to the snow? Uh, I think the snow was already there when he oh. was born. It's just the it's just the snowy he hood. He grew up in Vail, Colorado, <laughs> <laughs> in the hood. <laughs> The trailer park with some other poor white people. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I didn't say his life wasn't hard, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. In the, like, we barely, I didn't even go to he the, was, Yeah, he wasn't at 21st and Grove. Yeah, yeah no. that's true. Yeah, he had, Snowboarding down that, you know, that oh, one he's in the hood right in there Alaska? At <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. he, I think, he, I'm pretty sure he's from Colorado, if I remember. Right. Vale. I mean, I don't think it's Vale. Yeah, it's probably Vale. No, it's, prob- yeah. it's probably the shittiest mountain that you could possibly think of. there is none <laughs> that's true i know but Dude, like what a beautiful anyways state. <laughs> good god um but no uh we we have the very first time we have we have uncle bam on the podcast and i know a lot of people don't know who uncle bam is in the wichita area uncle bam fucking kills uh, you you don't fucking do, you don't do me. Sir. I'm all through the Midwest, uh, East and West Coast. That's I true. Out here, he traveled. <laughs> he does but shit. As far as Wichita, that's not, that. I'm I'm kind of like the big homie. As far as that's I true. Yeah, the big. Okay, I'm not gonna call you that, but but yeah. He's, he's, well, I don't know. You don't want to know what he's going to call you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. can't. We can't say that no. on air. I'm not going to call no boy, no uh, big homie. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, Uncle Bam is kind of a staple for Wichita comedy. He has been for, for, sure. for well, over 10 years. That. And it's been a shame that we haven't been able to get him on the show until now. And I blame myself. I'm so sorry. I mean, your co-hosts is blame you too. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I totally 100% agree. <laughs> Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, please. So do the listeners, I assure you. <laughs> Welcome in, Miss Uncle Bam. Call me Miss Uncle Bam. You know that? Yeah. Un- well, I was going to say uh, Mr. I mean, Bam. I'm losing my titties. Mr. Well, Bam. I didn't know. Why were you going to say Mr. Bam like this is the fucking fourth? That- Mr. Bam, come quick. <laughs> <laughs> 
no, but in all seriousness, like everything that I've seen of yours, it doesn't say Uncle Bam. It just says Bam now. And so, but well, does it say Mr. Bam? Well, I'm just being nice. Okay, man. I'm just being nice. Oh boy, well, it's gonna Bam's be a long the day. name of my government, so that's what I go by. Okay. And Uncle Bam's moniker, my stage name. Okay, so. all right, that's fair. Like any relation to Marjorie? No. Okay. I just figured I'd ask. I mean, I didn't know first names made people related. Uh, uh, middle names at that, because Bam's my middle. Right. Oh, okay. Bam is your middle? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, at least. Uh, you want to guess his first name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You probably really enjoy that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Because it fits up your alley. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> probably would have got on the show with that name. <laughs> <laughs> Let everybody know. We might as well. If I used my first name, I would have got on this show years ago. <laughs> oh, my God. But, no, anyways, <laughs> like, at least tell our audience about you, who you are, what you do, all that shit. Uh, comedian Uncle Bams, everybody's favorite uncle. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this over 10 years. Uh, all over, touring. Uh, got a few... T- uh, Tubi movies that I'm in. Um, Tubi movies? What the fuck is that? You don't know what Tubi is? No. Oh, that's right. You have money. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's a free streaming service. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. I get it. But you know what? Could we be in one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We could? There's a few movie directors here doing them all yeah, the man. time. Real, uh, man, for you real. Been for real? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know, but uh, don't get mad at me for not knowing about your podcast if you don't know nothing about Tubi. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, I've never even watched nothing on Tubi, and I'm in a me few neither, movies, but I, knew but I know what yeah, it is. Right. Oh, wow. Nah, I didn't know. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. No, it's okay. You just keep up your YouTube subscriptions yeah. and your Hulu's I mean, and your... You must, you must keep your money a secret because... Uh, I totally, 100% do. Because this house is not representing it. I know, oh. yeah, it's to- yeah, it's totally, yeah, exactly. I don't have a shitload of money. You wasn't trying to keep me coming over because you thought your money was going to uh, be it. Nah, well, no. my people got way bigger houses than this. Absolutely, <laughs> exactly. But but see, here's the difference. You haven't seen the the secret rooms. No, no, I, got- I I I spend my money on I stupid shit. I don't want to see the secret rooms because no, no, you don't. Not my one people of them. probably don't come out of those. No, no. Probably not. There's a lot of rubber dolls that have been lost in, one of, in <laughs> some of those rooms. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with the eyes wide shut portion of the house. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> goddamn, this is turn that this, picture over there right. to the right. So if anybody happens. was wondering, this is going to be let's just smoke the shit out of Scotty the entire I could episode. Not wait, I know, I know it's coming, and that's okay. I'm totally, I'm up for it. Uh, but anyways, Uncle Bam, uh, so what have you been doing over the last couple of weeks? Do you have anything that you've been doing fun? Uh, I just got my license for the first time in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At 41. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm to, legal now, baby. Hey. To drive? <laughs> yes, hey. sir. Yes, sir. That doesn't mean you weren't driving before. Yeah, that don't mean yeah. I was buying cars and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? All right. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, but I'm now legally and my insurance going to go Watch down. Out. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Fantastic. This yeah. is fantastic. Uh, me buying a car be cheaper than what it was buying it without a license. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we'll get y'all fixed. Talk up. about wasting money. Yeah. <laughs> Cost me eighteen thousand just to get it back. I still owe him a few racks. Oh my god! Uh, and I saw the car that you pulled up with, and I was like, "He's got more money than I do." <laughs> yeah, I waste on stupid shit like you. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then Same. you saw the car I pulled up, and you're like, "Yep, that seems right." Yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> I, I don't pay rent. I pay taxes. Okay. Uh, All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anything yeah. you th- that you got coming up any anytime uh, soon? I came second in Wichita's Funniest Wednesday. Yeah, that sounds kind of a ripoff, I thought. I mean, it was uh, no. maybe four black people were in the audience. Oh, yeah. I mean, but Dave is hilarious. I mean, Dave, Dave is. If da- I lose Dave to Gerbenic anybody, is Dave Gerbenic is hilarious. <laughs> And uh, I would rather lose to him than anyone else in Wichita. Maybe Jeremy on his best day. But what what about if you left a, or if you lost to Derek Alders for a third time? I didn't compete last year. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, 
I was Otherwise, in, Derek would have won. I, I was right. piece of shit. I was in the Dominican Republic spending my money wrongly. <laughs> <laughs> With five strippers. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, why didn't you bring she them She was there. Us? Oh, okay. All All right. Right. The strippers were her friends. So oh, <laughs> ten four. <laughs> Yeah, it's her friend's birthday, uh, so we spent a week in the DR. Bam! We need to hang out more often. Yeah, I'm I just see. I see the world, sir. Throwing I got it passport out there. It so sounds I, like I perform, a lot of fun. I'm doing two cruises uh, in 2025: one in September and one in April. Uh, I am being a movie uh, about red. Uh, uh, Rednecks? No, uh, not oh. rednecks. <laughs> the comedian. Uh, Ronaldo Ray. I'll oh, be, okay. Uh, playing another comedian in his movie. Um, I got my monthly show. Me and Jeremy gonna start at Champs starting December seventh. Nice. I have a comedy competition. We'll be starting at Champs in January to help people get access to the Looney Bin and other comedy clubs that I've been performing at that I can get people on. That's that's actually a good question, if I can interject just a, a smidge, because every, in Wichita, Kansas, the Looney Bin got sold, and so it's no longer a comedy club, and so we have a couple of clubs throughout the or throughout uh, Wichita that a lot of comedians are, are going to. Um, what, what do you think is going to happen, at least as far as Wichita comedy and where are they going to go and all of that stuff? Well, I have a Because few. JP doesn't actually do stand-up comedy. I mean, he does. Uh, it's like leap year. He does it every four years. Every four years? Okay. Yeah. Hey, I just, motherfucker, I just won a competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did, and I was in that. I know, and I think that you probably should have won over him. I'm just go, throwing man. it out there Here and saying go. it. Uh, Here we go. Okay. I, well, come on, man. You know, I mean, I'm just. I mean, call it what you want, man. But you don't do comedy. I, I do he every does, week on this he, fucking he had show. Whole, <laughs> he had his whole family there. Everybody was there. Yeah, he man. had support. Christ. He See? did. He had his entire. He had support. They he, wheeled it in wheelchairs and oxygen tanks. That was and everything. my mom. That was <laughs> my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I like JP, get them out, man. I can't get nobody out. This was he had a bunch of rednecks that wouldn't shut the fuck up oh, with, through other people's fucking comedy. Well, some like, of them comedy sets should have been talked through. That's true. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong there either. Uh, but anyways, uh, I guess uh, do you have anything else that you want to bring up, or are you good? Um, I mean, that's about it. Okay. I mean, besides helping. I mean, I'm, I'm working on opening up a comedy club here. You should. So, yeah. We, uh, we'd support it 100%. We had a location, but the roof was, was shitty. And it was, I was like, no, nah, I'm not about to do that much work. No kidding. And then I was going to take over the little lava spot that I was doing in that. But he didn't own the building, so that didn't yeah. make sense. No, I know. I get it. So, 100%. Just trying to find a good location, get the investors, show them the right business plan, and get it going. Yeah. Well, all of our listeners, if you guys listen to us, go and follow Uncle Bam uh, any way you can because I've known him for years and I've uh, <laughs> the dude fucking kills everywhere. There was a there was a gay bar that I saw you do the very first time, I believe. Yeah, and I was doing all anti gay jokes. Uh, it was absolutely fucking. <laughs> it was awesome. JP JP was crying in the back. It sucked uh, for him, but everybody else was laughing their ass off. JP yeah, was offended. Yeah. But. No, <laughs> I can assure you that's never happened. Yeah, I, actually, uh, I knew JP for maybe for for a nice few months, almost a year before I even knew he was gay. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah, JP's the straightest gay acting dude I've ever. Oh. Like he just, he's so straight acting, you wouldn't know he was gay till he'd be like, "Let me suck your dick." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Same same story. Oh, like what I the had, fuck? I had, I had okay, no idea. I guess. <laughs> Sitting next to him playing poker, and all of a sudden. And I feel him like put his hand down my pants, and I'm like, "Whoa, bro!" And yeah, that so was that was like, it. Oh, okay, so my bad. I, you know, usually I could I can sense it, but he he's like, I, gotta, I come in under the radar. Yeah, he's baby. an undercover gay. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah it's weird. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. it's weird. But he's so he, like he's old school gay, but he's so old school with it. He he, he don't know how to act gay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He has no lisp. Yeah, none of that. He, he don't he but. don't extend words. <laughs> You know, add extra S's or nothing. Yeah, nothing. His it's, wrist is sturdy. It is. Got to be. I'm a bowler, baby. 
That's fucking good. You <laughs> stay strong. That's good. So, you know, I, you know, he don't never look like he smelled cakes or pies or nothing. Nothing. Uh, I guess <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll move on to my fucking week. Uh, so I was, you haven't done your week yet? No. I say we skip it. <laughs> <laughs> Now go ahead, man. Let's hear what you did last week. Uh, my well, my my dad came in town this weekend. Oh, awesome! Like over the weekend, and and for those of you guys who don't know, he's my best friend in my entire yeah, world. That's awesome. Um, Good and for I, you I was for I was really dad. pumped. Uh, so legitimately, in our house, we have had uh, like floor removed in our bathroom uh, for over a year because my wife thought it would be a good idea <laughs> to do some construction. <clears throat> and it not get fixed for over a year. Not a so good I just idea. had plywood on the bathroom. I no bullshit am, am missing flooring in my bathroom and have been for over a year. So uh, my dad, who is a he builds homes for a living. That's what he does and has been forever. Uh, he came in and he he actually did some work and it was it's really cool. I now live in a house that my dad has actually done some construction in, which I think is pretty fucking cool. Uh, but the best part was was uh, over the weekend i uh had the opportunity to go and buy a new firearm jp did you now i did <laughs> i'm shocked yeah and how many does this is make? It the same one this is the one you were gonna buy but then they didn't have it now they have it so or you found one somewhere uh they it, apparently it's black friday sale oh really so it's 300 dollars off oh well off of one the one that i'm like is like second in where did my you tier. get it at i, I didn't buy it but we, you just stole it. No, so no I stole it in honor it. of Bam being on the show this week. <laughs> yeah. I stole the motherfucker. Yeah. No, I decided not to buy it. Okay, I I am actually holding out, saving my money for what I really want, which is a cheaper gun. Uh, but I'm gonna have to wait like six to eight weeks. Where can you get that at? Can you uh, get it at Cabela's? No, no, no. It's range fifty four. Mm -hmm. It's a live free armory. Is the only people who yeah. sell it. So. I need to go get me a legal gun since I can own. Yeah, one. you got a driver's license, bro. And I have no felonies, to probably to your surprise. No, not no, to my not surprise. No, not to my at surprise at all. At all. <laughs> Bam's smart. He sets the other guys up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that motherfucker know. walks away scot free every time. <laughs> Abs <laughs> absolutely. Fuck, nah, I don't say it, people on crash outs, man. I just do mine alone. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I literally just ripped ass and it's going to stink. So, uh, JP. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Oh, what is wrong <laughs> with you, man? I hope it stays. Hey, way. man. Jesus I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I normally I'm pretty good, but apparently oh. today my stomach's acting up. So, you know, farting in front of a gay is like <laughs> whistling to a girl. That's all I'm saying. Well, okay. That's why. That's my first time ever sorry. in the county jail is one of the funniest moments. <laughs> uh, a little chubby white dude went in there with me when we went upstairs, and he farted. And the old black dude across the room was like, hello. <laughs> Is it me? The cup fell out. I could not hear like uh, no more without thinking and seeing uh, it. I was like, dude, I'm like, oh, he's about to get you, dude. Uh, uh, man. Uh, you're in big trouble. Stay I, away from me. I Go I over there. I that bug that whole time uh, I was there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wow. So you said that just confirmed what uh, he was saying. That's yeah, funny. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. yeah I thought yeah. you were calling my name. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not. That's uh, not ritual. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah. But uh, other than that, no, we, we got to hang out with my dad. But the best part was is, is I didn't end up purchasing anything, thank God, um, because it's, it's, it's just expensive. But I thought he said he got a new gun. No, I didn't. I did not buy a new gun. You said you did. No, I didn't. I thought that's thing, how it started. That is how it I had started. the opportunity to buy it. But you didn't that say that. You, you said, said it. I bought a new gun. No, that's what I you will. Said. No? Trust me. Uh, when you I run will. Back, I will. Did you this recorded. I will. <laughs> Jesus Christ. His breath is going at you while he talks. Cut. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just I, I had to let it go. Again? No. Make no. <laughs> no, that's not from the first one, man. The first one cleared out, and now <laughs> it's, it's the, back. It's the first one. Unless that motherfucker went up and made a U-turn. <laughs> he probably did. <laughs> oh, my God. He made that little bounce to clear, it out, clear that last yeah. bubble out. Yeah, it bounced off the ceiling. That's probably what oh, happened. Oh, <laughs> praise God, man. I'm glad it didn't yeah. go this far. Uh, but no. Oh, I, you should see a doctor. Uh, I got to want. No, I don't want to. 
Uh, I got <laughs> I got to watch uh, Oklahoma against Alabama with my uh, my brother last night, and we were just sitting there and we were cleaning guns all night long. And it, dude, it's tedious, but it's fun. What were you guys eating? <laughs> <laughs> steak. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, that shit was bad. No. Yeah, <laughs> that steak went bad, brother. It was totally delicious. Eating it was deviled amazing. eggs. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, that's that's. No, I know he's not eating deviled eggs. No, he doesn't like deviled eggs. I hate deviled eggs, but uh, th- yeah, it was a delicious steak. That's okay. all it was. But anyways, you gonna be okay? I will find out. <laughs> we'll not let you know as we go. Me, uh, me on the other hand, I think I'm dying inside. You, I think you are too. It smells like you're dying inside. Thank you for taking all that for the team, yeah, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. Had Appreciate I known, it. I would have, <laughs> I would have been like, "Yep, this is your seat right here, man." <laughs> Sorry, I thought about it anyway. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, uh, there was a question that came in, uh, or not a question. He reminded me about something, uh, that we brought up on last week's episode. You had a brilliant idea to have a cookie cutter butthole the plug, plug, butt plug thing. Cookie cutter butt plug. Right. Uh, well, Adam, uh, Winnens made the comment, which I I've seen these before Yep. and I really want fans to actually do this. Cause I think it would be absolutely hilarious and specifically for you. There is a company that takes a mold of your butthole and turns into it, turns it into a chocolate, like a, a chocolate candy. Mm. If if anybody out there would please do this for JP, I think it would be absolutely. Do they take hilarious. a mold? That's is that what I was thing? just about yeah. to. Ask. Or do they? Ha- I've seen the chocolates. Yeah, but the butthole, they- the chocolate buttholes. So, yeah, but I think that's just a. So you, you got to spray them. the cheeks and put a mold. Hundred percent. No. Yes. Hundred percent. I'm gonna have to look this. What if up? you have yeah. a hemorrhoid? So you can get a hemorrhoid chocolate. Hey, some people like that shit. I don't know. JP might have a boyfriend that has a hemorrhoid. I have no, no idea. No. Not not until after I get done with them. Oh God, Ugh. that's disgusting. Probably true as well. But no, I, I just wanted to point that out. That there is a fact. I see the hemorrhoid now. Got a visual. <clears throat> yeah, uh, there, there's a company out there that takes okay, a mold man. of a butthole they take a mold and they of a butthole, not your your butthole. butthole. They send you a kit. No, it's yeah. Or it's, somebody and comes then you, to your house. Somebody comes to your house. Hey, yeah. I want to make some chocolates. You want to help me out? Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. And, okay, and I'm you, gonna, and I'll you, check it out. Yeah, and so I want a whole I'll bunch. I'll take all of the chocolate butt holes you guys can send me. See, that's I, what I'm I love saying. Chocolate. I think. I think so. <laughs> but uh, I'm a I, and I love buttholes. <clears throat> uh, it's yeah. a win-win for me. Yeah. So yeah, I, you was tossing salads before it was popular. Oh yeah, man. Fucking no. Martha Stewart ain't got shit on me. My brother sent my wife something earlier this week and said, "If you're if you have a husband that loves bourbon, there's definitely a good possibility that he eats asshole too." Yeah, yeah. Because you get drunk and your neck <clears throat> get loose, you just slip up on. No, first time it asked how it happened for me the first time, and turns uh, out I enjoyed it. She got that message and then I tossed her salad that night. So there's that. Very uh, good. But anyways, Very uh, well. let's move on to. I'm not drinking topics. behind neither one of y'all. Smart. It's probably a good idea. He already wasn't drinking after me. No, <laughs> we know each other too long. Yeah, pretty we, much. we know you're just. That's true. <laughs> uh, but let's move on to hot topics. I know we got a couple of them in, in here that are blank, but that's because I wrote this episode on uh, Friday. So uh, this we're recording on a Sunday uh, for Thanksgiving. So we hope all of you guys are making it to your destination safely. And uh, we hope that we make you laugh so hard that you have to pull the fuck over. But uh, we're going to kick this off with uh, the first thing that happened, which was on a Thursday night. We had the Pittsburgh Steelers playing the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland, and it was the first snow game of the season. Did you get to see this? Yep. Yep. Yes. The beginning of the game was like nothing was going yeah. on. It was boring. It sucked. And then the clouds opened up, and God said, get fucked, Cleveland, with snow. And it was the most fun fucking game I've yeah, seen in it was. years. It was. I brought the kid out. It was Jameis great. Winston. Yeah, yeah. And ja- and I like Jameis dude, a lot. I mean, uh, he turned autistic. He, he <laughs> fucking that dude. It was he was a whole, on a whole nother uh, level. Man, it was he, so fun to watch. And it was fun. He he comes off he comes off of like two turnovers in a row and then ends up somehow pulling it out against the Steelers who were eight and two at the time. Now they're eight and three. Get fucked yeah. uh, and fucked the Steelers. But I, dude, do the Steelers make the playoffs this year? No, for sure. You think they do? Oh yeah. Okay, I yeah, agree. Yeah. But I hope they get just fucking smashed. Nah, that's not gonna happen. You don't their, think the so? Rest of their schedule isn't that bad. 
<sighs> it sucks. But anyways, that was the most fun game I've watched in a very long time. So can, can it was a fun yeah, game. Yeah, watch. congratulations to them. Uh, obviously, I want to talk about my uh, Detroit Lions. They were uh, they were looking pretty good against Indianapolis today. I, I must I mean, say. it's still against Indianapolis. It's it's against. They Indianapolis. haven't played it's anybody okay. for several it's weeks right. now. Who's on Indianapolis? Uh, Anthony Richardson was on it. He hey, was a quarterback. Name one other person. Uh, yeah, I'm about to ask what position. That <laughs> <laughs> he was a quarterback. quarterback. Yeah, yeah he's quarterback. oh, that's the black dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he was their first first overall, or not? He was their name first one other pick. one other person on the team or the head coach. Yeah, I'm not gonna name that. Exactly. No, that's good. It okay. doesn't matter. You know, it's, I'm just saying, man. It's not yeah, their that's, year. That's a big drop. Man. It's not. We it's, used to know the coach, the oh, coach everybody, coordinators. Right? Fucking yeah, yeah we, dude. I, dude, I should know a whole bunch of players, and I'm just going fucking. Ever since right Andrew now. Luck, they just disappeared. disappeared. They really <laughs> did, done, dude. They he really retired. Did. They retired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, well, we're done. Yeah. We had Peyton. We and then we had Andrew Luck. Like, we're not getting another one. This is that was it for us. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to be a Lions fan, and I hope all of it you is, guys uh, are having a good time. I love watching them play football, man. They I, they're, play, fucking they're fun. fun. To watch. Yep. It's well, fucking fun to watch. Yeah, the coach changed that whole energy. Yep. In that 100%. Home. He sure did. And uh, and so it's it's fun to be a Lions fan. Uh, we also had a couple of other games. We're currently sitting here watching uh, San Francisco and, and Green Bay. We got Arizona and, and Seattle, but uh, we have not yet seen – the Denver Broncos play. They're playing the Raiders right now. They're up three nothing. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. They're I need, doing well. I need them to to beat the shit out. Dude, of Dude, they're doing well. Okay. I just want to make sure Bo Nix. Bo Nix, man, looks fucking incredible. I don't care what you say. He's you say he looks all right. The dude's threw for like four hundred and some yards and like five touchdowns last I, week. Again, I do have to dude, say that, that dude I'm looks impressed. incredible. I I am I am actually impressed with Bo Nix. I think he's going to be a good quarterback. Uh, did, uh, Chicago lost. Yes. Yeah. And so Derek is at home. Uh, There's currently. no way they make the playoffs. Derek is at home currently um, uh, is, trying to is move that, is that to, Chicago to Canada. Table? What's that? Yeah, it's Derek's. Oh, Derek's a big Chicago everybody fan. Everybody get their own little. Yeah, that's the other yeah. thing. A whole bunch of people think that this this helmet, this Chicago Bears helmet is for me. It's nah, not. It's, it's not for anybody. It's Derek's. It's Derek's. Um, and, yeah, that sucks. He's the only one dumb enough to put a Chicago Bears helmet on the fucking. <laughs> that ain't no bullshit. Um, but yeah, no, they ended yeah. up losing. <clears throat> they were never going to make the playoffs in their division. It just, they're just, and it sucks because this is probably the best team they've had for a long time. Probably. And I think developmentally they'll get better and better, but mm -hmm. dude, they're just in a tough fucking division, man. That, they, they're to be trying it, to make the playoffs and be, a it's, it's the higher, best. They're not, they're, they're not mediocre anymore. They're, they're higher echelon mediocre you know what i mean they're good enough probably to make the playoffs in another division it's a high beat yeah high yeah. Beat, yeah, yeah yeah so they almost in the a they're they're trying boy they're trying boy it's tough yeah you just keep missing that assignment yeah yeah <laughs> and then obviously the kansas city chiefs ended up beating the carolina panthers barely ha have you the Their Carolina Panthers by Their whole three. Has been barely. Whoever wrote this script was like, "We're just going to put all the dr drama on Kansas." Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Which Talk to me means that they've already got it written in that they're going to three peat. No, yeah, no way. Got to be no way. To all the drama's been their whole season. They've been losing by toenails, winning by toenails. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. afros yeah, and everything yeah. else. So nah. kickers kicking the ball, kicking yeah. the field goal into their fucking. They're lineman. finding people that <laughs> yeah, work that. Dude. Subway now yeah. they're running Come here. 100 yard returns yeah, and stuff. It's crazy. Like, yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. This is this is fucking stupid. But every year they bring somebody in like a uh, like they did this year with Bernard Hopkins. They, 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 uh, they oh uh, DeAndre they get, Hopkins. Yeah, they get the uh, Super Bowl touchdown. He got yeah. a touchdown today. Yeah, I know. He's gonna keep yeah. getting. Them. He's gonna resurrect <sighs> his career for one year. Yeah. One year. <laughs> one year. One year. One only. year. Yeah, and that's, that's it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but yeah. get that ring. Chief gives us one player a year. Then yeah. we'd be like, man, they're going to be great. Then you'd be like, and what happened gone. to them last yeah, year? Right. Oh, no. I think they're back at Subway. Yeah, and Jaden Daniels didn't do so good against <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys, unfortunately. No. The Dolphins ended up just creaming the fucking Patriots. Um, Which is weird because the Patriots are so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. It's crazy. But, you know. It's you know that's football for this week because I got a lot more fun stuff to do, uh, which I think I really wanted to bring up with JP and Uncle Bam. 
Uh, this is actually a real article. I'm going to go ahead and preface it or, or just preface this and say this is a real article that went out and it's by the Daily Mail. And they wrote an article called How to Winter Proof Your Vagina as Experts Warn Cold Weather Could Wreak Havoc on Intimate Health. And there were a lot of excerpts about like, well, cold weather can dry that son of a bitch out. So not mine. Mine stays moist. That's well, you, you, there's you don't have lube involved. That you know of. Oh, really? I'm, I make my own lube. Oh, do you? you? got a man yeah. That's awesome. Not a yeah. yeah, that's, that's why true. mine stays warmer. <laughs> that makes sense. I was like, man, I don't know what's wrong with these women. Mine's Jesus fine. Christ. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah, you got more syllables than yours. You, how do, so how do you? <laughs> <laughs> how do you shit. keep? How do they keep it warm? Uh, they tell them they to wear warm, warm clothes. They got and, pussy and, mittens. Yeah, they, yeah. That's that's what I was kind of thinking. It's a laughing on the sidelines, pussy mittens. I think that would be. A they good just rub their legs together they, like crickets. Or they just insert them in their panties, little furry <laughs> little mittens and shit. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And okay. they tell you to stay hydrated, obviously. Obviously. That that's one number things. one. Uh, so what about chicks to stay hella wet? Will it freeze together? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like icicles for them and fucking. Because one of my girlfriends be hella wet. And then if her coochie lips froze together, I had to go down and be like. <sighs> <sighs> try, to, try to defrost them lips. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's good. That's good shit right there. Uh, but no, I couldn't. You got the fucking. Yeah. <laughs> the ice, the ice yeah. Are out there. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but no, this absolutely shocked the shit out of me. They they were actually in, in kind of like implying that women are a bunch of whores, and so whenever you go to Christmas parties this year, these are the the things that you should do because we know that you're going to be getting fucked by a whole bunch of dudes. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Little little weird. Okay. Uh, but anyways, there's that. Did you find that all on your own? Uh, no, I got sent that no. actually. Nice. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about it. Very good. Shut the fuck up, JP. Uh, but the biggest news of the of the week was a banana duct taped to a wall was just sold at auction for six point two million dollars in New York at an auction this over this week. Um, JP, what what's art to you? Do you think that's artistic? Uh, I give think me the give me. I think the, if they sold it for six point two million, get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna start taping some shit to some walls. I understand. Like what bullshit? We can start with Bam. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just, What's the piece from now on? Whenever we come down for those show, Bam's just gonna be taped to the wall right there. By I the can old see logo. him just yeah, just being like, hey, hey guys, hey, how you, doing? How how you doing? doing? What's up? Uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. It's Why? A Who did it? I don't know. Yeah. It, it must doesn't have matter. Been somebody of note. No, it's not. Was it? The it person wasn't that, some random dude. Was it the person that duct taped it to the wall? The one that bought it? Were they laundering money? What's I have going no on? idea. That could be too. I have no idea. Oh, I like that. It, it, it apparently <laughs> it was at an <laughs> auction before. Are they special and just has a lot of money? No. No, it could it's, be an autistic person. Be like, I like bananas. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it's this: time to check over. Like the banana is still yellow, and I know that like a couple of years ago it was sold, and it was it sold for like four million something. Like, oh yeah, this has happened more than once. It's the so, same banana. Same banana. So the, as far so, as I know, so, the, so somebody when it was notable sold, had to have done it. So when it was sold for four million, then the person that bought it was like, I'm gonna duct tape it to the wall, and add another two uh, million. A hundred percent. That's what. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. This is retarded. So like we are retarded. So the person. That the first knows, time it was sold, no, it was already duct taped to the wall. No, yeah. we're gonna say rich. Yeah, no, it was. Rich, it was rich pilgrims. Are we retarded. need to know who did it. I yep. need to know why. What are you doing putting this story on here, but you don't have any details? Yeah, it, I, I need just, details. My whole question, though, was That's like, a mundur, would, scheme, would you man, buy sure. a duct tape, a duct tape banana to if a I had wall an extra six point two laying around? 6. Maybe 2 I would. Million dollars. Maybe I would. This is the like what what world are we yeah. living in? I can't get uh, I can't get a hundred people to go see you do stand up comedy, but I can get. Uh, I mean, I bam, I have no problem with doing that. But however. I somehow can get six point two million dollars to buy a banana duct taped to a white wall. Well, I would have bought it, it for the six point two, and then I would have. JP's trying to look at, look up some deep. Put a black mark around it, and then sold it for eight point nine. See, that's what I'm saying. 
It was very first sold for 120000 120000 for a fucking banana duct tape to a wall. Yeah, that's first. London laundering. Somebody got a London laundering scheme. Uh, it could and be. And how is the banana still yellow? How do they know it's the same damn banana? See, that was my question. Because bananas. There's a serial code on the banana to make sure that it's maybe, the same banana? Maybe. I have no idea. This just doesn't make sense. How do you authenticate this is the same banana? I don't know. Uh, and they why, take DNA samples, I'm guessing. said this was art? I, I uh, some people that I mean I like capitalism. Capitalism is good, but um, this is where I got red flags going up. You know what I'm saying? This, see, that's this, that's how NFT started. Exactly, exactly. 100%. It doesn't say anywhere in here that it sold for six point two million dollars. That's because you're no, dude. You're you're reading a leftist website. You need to go to the real ones. No. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> JP is going to go outside on our smoke break and look it up on a real website and look at all the details. I yeah. Know, I don't really care, but uh, <laughs> I need to know. That just, that just proves how much people waste money and how much they don't care about exactly. humanity. I agree. I yeah, agree. Yeah, dude, give me some of that $6.2 million. <laughs> Fuck a banana. And Mike. And then give, I can afford a banana. No, don't give JP money. He's got at least some money. Mike yeah, has you, no money. You give JP Six point two. It's got. It's gonna be a lot of rich dudes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna spread that shit around. There's gonna be a lot of guys walking around with some money. There's gonna be a lot of guys with yes, some new cars. Sir. Yes, new sir. Clothes. No dignity. <laughs> yeah. Their soul will be He's gone. About to but, ditty uh, the shit out. Oh of his yeah. People. Diddy, Diddy party ain't got nothing on me. Oh God! Let me get that six point two. Yeah, those JPPs, Shit. those JP parties are gonna yeah. be fucking oh, lit. Oh my goodness! Lit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, uh, this was recorded on a Sunday, so we don't got much left in that. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is hot topics. Uh, but now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Uh, we had a lot of you guys participate in um, Monday. Thursday? I don't know. Was, uh, yeah. Happy Monksgiving. Yeah. That's Monksgiving. 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 It's, it's the Thanksgiving episode. So a whole bunch of you guys had a whole bunch of Thanksgiving stuff. So thank you guys for those of you who participated. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of little silver dicks around here. Uh, that's because uh, we get. That's usually my seat. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> fans actually send in gifts to us, and, and uh, I got sent a bag of dicks. So <laughs> that's what that is. Uh, but anyways, we're going to kick overrated or underrated off with Roger Colton. He wants to know overrated or underrated sniffing women's panties. Why would you do this? <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. Oh. I'm a straight guy and I've never done this. I don't, Why I would don't think you? I've ever no, done I just. That, that I, is a bad idea. I've, nah, I've caught my cousin sniffing panties. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. But they were never, yours? No. Nah, oh, <laughs> thank God. I don't, I don't have panties. Well. What? No. <laughs> yeah, what's the definition of underwear and panties? Where yeah. is that? Where is that? Yeah, like, I cross think it just means line? underwear. Because they got boy shorts. Oh, for sure they do. They I've got do. a couple pair. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't sniffing those neither. No, that's probably for the best. Oh, that's disgusting. No, this um, is way overrated. Yeah, way overrated. Yeah. Obviously, overrated. I'm going to say that. Whoever sniffed panties sniffs seats when people get up. Right. That kind of right. <laughs> that was those type right. of people. Yeah. You don't want to be hanging <laughs> yeah. out with a seat sniffer. Yeah, seat sniffer. You don't want to be hanging <laughs> out with a seat that's sniffer. That's a sniff panties. It's a, a weird seat motherfucker, sniffer. dude. <laughs> God. Yeah. That's, yep, yep. that's fucking awful. Yeah. That's fucking awful. Yeah, it's overrated, man. Don't do that shit. Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Jake Sanders. He wants to know overrated or underrated. No nut November. That's for people that don't get none to try to make right. other people that get some try not feel, to feel happy. Right. Hundred yeah. percent. Who the fuck no. want to be congested like that for a whole month? Nah, not, not only that. I'll tell you what. If they do do it though, I want to be the first one to get that <laughs> shit on out of there. Cause, and how oh. you go from no shave October to no nut November? That's why you're not nothing because you didn't shave hey, last month. Yep. So don't nobody want nobody your, wants your old, old nappy fucky hair. ass. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah, like I'm not. It, I, it directly correlates. <laughs> yeah, it's like the four B movement for dudes. I'm out. No, the other thing is, is like who wants to fucking re like sheetrock your ceiling whenever you fucking come for the first I'm time. In the month, yeah. like no shit, you're blowing holes through that thing. Mm -hmm. So no, this is way overrated. Out, 
Completely. Does that mean it's dick em up December? Once you get done with no, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no November, it's dick em up December. <laughs> fucking anything you can get a hold of because you got <laughs> pent up frustrations from <laughs> yeah. fucking October, November. <laughs> uh, you come here December. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit me back up in December. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like the pressure of, of that chick, like riding you, would just like shoot through the fucking ceiling. That'd be so bad. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Ian Hodder. He wants to know overrated or underrated. No, or I'm sorry, uh, Kansas Winters. We don't have winters no yeah, more. Yeah, we don't. We stopped having winters a few years ago. Yeah, it, it, the snow melts by the afternoon. Yeah. yeah yes, we haven't had a, a hard haven't winter a for real winter several winter years. Since what, 2017 or something? You know what? That yeah. ice storm that came. Yeah. Like, just the Kansas climate in general is is a like bipolar bitch. Like, now, yeah, everybody's climbing. We don't have seasons anymore. I, I, I think, well, I think we have seasons. But the thing is, is that I think that they're, <laughs> like, seasons are during a day. Uh, seasons, yes. Yeah, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's, not a, that's not a We season. had fall this year, but it was, like, three days long. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what and I'm saying. And one of those days, the wind was so fucking heavy that it was blowing trampolines onto power lines. That's yeah. right. So, really, we had two good days to enjoy. So, I'll change the question. It, it's overrated or underrated, Kansas weather yeah, way true. overrated yeah, is she going through menopause yeah yeah <laughs> the middle of the country She's is in going some, some menopause. Menopause. hot flashes cold mm-hmm. flashes mm-hmm. bitch start crying for no reason <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden she happy again it's beautiful back out <laughs> yeah. oh, today it's gorgeous out today <laughs> I can't uh, believe how nice it was. Come on, get this bitch up here, so we can have seasons again. <laughs> that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh uh, yeah, that's perfect. I I agree a hundred percent with Bam on that one. Fuck. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, next one comes in from uh, Tucker. Uh, JP, help me with that one. Hmm. Zemanski. Zemanski. Yeah, I think that's right. Tucker Zemanski. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, Scotty having a new hobby every other week. I guess I'm Scotty's new hobby this week. Yep. That's right. Yep. 100%. Underrated. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. It's totally overrated. And no, I know it's I, underrated, no, bro. I, I know. I, mean, I love rich people. I love it. I love it when y'all fucking I'm not get rich. on a, it goes for golf and then snowboards and then guns and then bourbon and then you're gonna be doing robot fighting next. Yeah, I don't I, know. Yeah, I've already done that. Ah, uh, well, see, see, yeah, that's where it start. That's yeah, the that's the starter pack. The battle robot bots. battle bots and battle uh, bots. racer uh, yeah. ball control cars and yep. then they get into the cop. We should make there. a battle bot, man. Dude, That'd be that, fun. it's he's expensive, past, but I do it. Yeah, I, he's I, past I that time. Not, no, got to make I'm, him relapse. I can still do it. I can still do he it. He's gonna regress. No, but. I, I like That's getting the in. That's the introductory level to rich. <laughs> no yeah. shit. Because those things are <laughs> fucking expensive. Uh, but no, I like getting into new shit. It's just something that's about my personality. But whenever I get into it, I jump both feet into the deep end. And that's just the way Let that I am. I know when you get be turned into a weed enthusiast. Uh, yeah, oh, I, I can't. Wish. I know. I know. I we, would, we would become <laughs> yeah. much better friends. I know. I know. I'll tell you that. I know. I'll be over here a lot Look, more. I like your bourbon corner, but I'd love your weed corner a lot more. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know but ganja. I, Welcome to Ganja yeah, Corner. Let me know, yeah, let me know when you yeah. pick up the Rastafari yeah, in life. Yeah, let me know when that happens. <laughs> I'm coming back. It just, like, all of it just makes me so goddamn paranoid. And, you just gotta so, get through. You gotta smoke through that, man. No, I, I don't. I, I was in a you ba- do. No. That's white guilt. Yeah, it is. It is. That's why I don't get it. And all of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just that saying. Peter sucked enough black dick. Yeah. He ain't got I'm white guilt no more. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. I've done my part. Yeah. I assure you. <laughs> no, but two uh, two at once, one time. Ah, oh, shit. But yeah, I, I will. I will happily continue with the same shit. I just. It is what it is. All, all right. right. And, and it's underrated. Fuck you. Great question. Yeah. Good question. Uh, next one comes in from Nolan Cattermass. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, watching your drunk uncle start a fire in the kitchen trying to cook the turkey. That's hilarious. Especially right. if it's not in your house. It's underrated. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that dude. Uh, yeah. I got one of those uncles. So, yeah, under, underrated. Huh. JP? Uh, when I say underrated, I don't think this has ever happened. But You don't? Everyone in my the family uncle doesn't cook. cook the, uh, the uncle doesn't cook the fucking turkey. He does? I'm cooking the turkey. The women cook the turkey. Oh, that's true. I always cook the turkey. What are you talking about? The, he did. The women cooked the turkey. Yeah. That's what he said. Unless you're black. They're all used to cooking. 
picking shit. The women do the size, we do yeah. the meats. Yeah. Oh. Yep. We are, but we are the smoking that we deep frying. Right. You're, we're, yeah. we're not in the You're not oven. Just you deep frying? Yeah. Are you deep frying? Yeah, I deep frying smoke mine. Uh, we don't do the oven. That's no. that's white people turkey. Yeah. Oh, okay. That I mean, he's got, he's got a point. Yeah, yeah. We, our mm-hmm. stuff and then that juicy, little red yeah, thing yeah. pop up. You'd be like, nah, turkey's are, done. Yeah, that's how I can. Yeah, our smoker? Meat, yeah, we got a smoker. All yeah, I got a deep that. fryer, too. I can, I can do seafood broils. I do, I'm, I we cold in my family and cooking. Hey. I got a barbecue meatloaf that that had you begging. Okay. I'll, I believe him. <laughs> I believe him. Just saying. They, they want me to make that for Thanksgiving. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to do my Rotel chicken pasta in the deep fried turkey. <laughs> Rotel chicken pasta? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is overrated or underrated for this week. I'll be eating macaroni and cheese and ramen noodles again. <laughs> God damn it. I'll Motherfucker, I invited you. you. Thanks, I, man. I, I, Thanks, man. I said you can come with me. You just have to be around my family. I'm a pass. I agree. I think it's I a good like idea. You. <laughs> they wouldn't like you your either. Family. Well, yes, this is no. be my first Thanksgiving with our new girlfriend. Oh yeah, and her oh. family. Oh man, that'll be fun. What, when you say girlfriend, are you saying like, what are you, Polly or something? Uh, that's what the label they put on me. But I'm just a dude. To be honest, man, you okay. know, it ain't cheating if she there. She know, and I got two women that allow me to be with both of them together. Okay, that's different. Um, hold, My, hold. You're, you're, you are. That's why we get each other. <laughs> that's why we look. That's why we're boys, right there. <clears throat> you get me. Yeah, I love you for it. <laughs> look, but, we gays. We've been doing this shit for yeah, a long time. Like and and, and just not, do what makes you happy. Yeah. And neither of them get pissed off. No. no, man, we all travel together. We we are working on getting the house together. How, are, how about like th- the three of you uh, the same time? Yeah, yeah. Do one get more jealous of the other one? No, no, because everybody getting the same amount of dick. I didn't tap both <laughs> of them out. I had to jack <laughs> off. Don't get me on no honey packets of uh, micro dose of mushrooms, nigga. I ain't getting that till two days later. All right, man. This is not. <laughs> this, this, this is not the last time you're gonna yeah. be on this show. You're coming on again. <laughs> we need to we need to dive deep into this shit. Holy ball sack. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is overrated or underrated. Hey, bam. Overrated or underrated threesomes. Uh, shit. I love it. <laughs> underrated, underrated for sure. Okay. I, why, why stop at three? That's my thing. Uh, <laughs> my max is eight in a day and five at one time. Oh, oh. my God. I wouldn't know what to do. Oh, you would. That was in my Trust. 20s, but yeah, you know, now. It's been a minute. Uh, yeah, the, I wouldn't know what to you do. Know, in my 40s, I, I can keep two or three, please. That's good. Good, good for you. Fucking yeah. asshole. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> now we get to move uh, on to that's where I draw the line, which is JP's favorite part of every single episode. Oh my God. All right. We're going to kick this off with Dev Dev. He wants to know at what point do you stop inviting a specific family member over to Thanksgiving? Hmm. Well, I mean, well, it depends on like soon as you find out they're gay. Yeah, soon as you find out they're gay. Like if they getting drunk too much and just causing sense, you got to keep inviting them because that gives That's the family good, yes. shit to gossip and talk right. about. Absolutely, now, yeah. if, busy. if they're a pedophile now, you gotta, you know, stop inviting him immediately. Wow. Okay. I, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's my line being drawn yeah, I mean, right there. Know, Absolutely. If, if you done found out he won them touches and y'all ain't pressing mm. charges, you better uh, just he can't come around no more. I agree. You uh, better uh, keep him for me because I'm going to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> and not in the way he likes it. <laughs> JP that's is a, in the same uh, <laughs> category, but he going to touch him how he likes it. Yeah. 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 That's right. Me, that's why I'm going to take JP with me. That's oh, right. Yeah. Absolutely. It's always good to have backup. He's going to he get beat up twice. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he is not going to like it. <laughs> This is not going to be a comfortable yeah. situation. Right, he's going to need therapy after yeah. this. Yeah. Wow. He will never be the same. Bet you won't touch Bet no you more will, kids. Yeah, he ain't going to touch nobody else. So. I know that. He won't want to be touched either. Mm-hmm. He's just going to be no, an isolate. Just... <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking fantastic. Uh, I agree with Uncle Bam on that one. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to go with Uncle Bam's answer. How about you, JP? 
Uh, I don't invite anybody to begin with because nobody wants to come over for fucking ramen noodles and macaroni and cheese. I'm about to say your meal sucks. Yeah, yeah. I lose them there. I lose them at the menu. He's waiting for his invite. But he does it on purpose because he buys four bowling balls a month and then complains that he can't afford food. And it's just like, I got nothing, dude. How JP, the fuck do you got to keep? Don't you just how long? What is the warranty on the bowling ball? Can't you keep that forever? No, God, no. It's like everything else, man. <laughs> technology gets better. Fucking the next you got ball's a technology better. Technology ball? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. You got microchips and shit. In no, there. not cheap. yet. You got a little glove that you control. Yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> fuck, yeah. I wish. You know, it's like snowboards. I'd probably still fuck it up. <laughs> It's like me and snowboards. Yeah, man, for yeah, sure. Yeah, would you shut the fuck up about my snowboard except purchasing? Except you can afford, yeah, except you saying, can you afford, can afford your afford shit. Yeah. You can eat steaks and snowboards. I have two. He has noodles and bowling balls. Yes, that is right. a horrible combination. But he's got 24 <laughs> bowling balls. What the fuck, Oh, JP? I do probably have that many. Exactly, and I have two snowboards. Where did you snowboards? keep all the motherfuckers? They can't, they're not In the very closet, storage. Man. So, oh, fuck that. I'm not opening up. None of your closets is full of well, heavy balls. you should balls. never do that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I keep them there. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cartoon, will ever find them. Bro, yes. That is a fucking cartoon. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. You open JP closet, a bunch of heavy ass bowling <laughs> balls fall on you. That is yeah. fucking. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm learning too much. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next one comes in from Jesse Petal. He wants to know Jesse Petal file. Yeah, Je- yeah. There we go. Uh, he wants to know how many people is too many for Thanksgiving dinner when that- you don't have enough food. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when you run out of food, it's bad. <laughs> like if you're the host, you want no food left over. So you, but you don't want people to be hungry and be looking at you like, hey, I ain't get no turkey. Brother. Absolutely, been here thirty minutes. Ago. What if the food is is unlimited and you can have a certain number of people over at your house? Three. <laughs> wow, <laughs> me and my women, uh, my wow, kids. Wow, that's uh, it. Yeah, so th- that's it. I don't like people. I don't like people generally either, hmm. and I don't like my family. They yeah. don't like me. So, <laughs> Jeez, what's wrong with them? I like you just fine. Uh, that's because we found out we wasn't related. Oh, okay. All right, that's <laughs> we've been faking it for, th- for thirty plus years. Oh like, my damn, god! Man. I'm still trying to figure out how they even got me. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, so I, I kick it with y'all and yeah, my just women. Do, uh, just do that 24 and me thing. Yeah, that's how I found out we weren't related. <laughs> <laughs> 24. 24 and me. Did, did, that's did. the one with the extra chromosome. That's the one with the extra yeah. chromosome. I did the DNA test, found out the only people I'm related to is my kids. Ah, well, at least you're well, hey, at that's least, good. At least that, brother. That's at least good. that. Hey, that's, good. that's what the... That's what, I like, the, damn, that shorts it up yeah. easy yeah, right That's there. good. I get along with them. That's good. Yeah, I like them. Ah. I, I like a good My funeral. Going to be small. Oh, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be there. We'll, we'll be pallbearers. Yeah. Um, I, I guess for me, it's like I don't like my family Thanksgiving. I love my friends giving. Yeah, yeah everybody uh, loves for that. sure. You know man. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like JP coming over and getting a good meal for you know the first time in a year. Like that's that's all I want to provide. Yep. I want to provide yep. JP yep. a good meal. JP go get knows. a few plates. He's he's invited this year. Yeah, I, I collect Bam, plates. you can come out if yeah, you want trust to. Trust me, I collect plates. I ain't hanging out. Just don't out. bring I'm your kids. I'm to collect plates. Yeah, uh, don't. <laughs> don't bring your kids. Don't bring your kids. I'm bringing my Only two Only one youngest. girl. I'm bringing both girls. Oh, my I'm coming God. out with a tribe. That's I got my own village. That's good. That's why you don't invite black people. No. They come with folks. Michi's coming. That's Yeah, dude. Not, he's, not on holidays, yeah. Yeah, that's why. Just on holidays. Yeah. If yeah. you invite a black person for any you regular invite, event, you, it's just them. Yeah, it's just them. Dude, but holiday, we got to feed everybody. Them. Yeah, holidays. Because we just got them. They like, come pulling up. They got four people in their car. They get out, but then you don't see the car that pulls in after yeah. with the four more people yeah, that he invited over. My kids came over. in last yeah. night. I was like, yeah, they definitely got to come with me, collect plates. Yeah. I, I Like, Michi and his wife can come to anything they want to. They're, they're my, yeah. Anyway. Uh, next one uh, comes in from Keith Allen Prather. He wants to know, how long will you continue to eat leftovers from Thanksgiving? That's a good question. Huh. That's a good question. JP, probably three weeks. Yeah, till they're gone. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm yeah, I'll sure. I'll take whatever he, you got. He, Turkey necks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be a... 
the jib, the giblets, <laughs> giblets. It's disgusting. Gets it, it's everything. Oh yeah, man. That's so. Gross. Until it's gone, I don't think there's a. I mean, it, I can't imagine doing it for more than a week. I guess. Yeah, that the, the week is the cutoff yeah. because anything after a That's week, that too. turkey is got. Even if you microwave it, it's just yeah. got to be disgusting. Well, after a week, then you got to turn it into something else. Yeah, you got to mix it all up yeah. together and put it on like, like, a like make it a turkey stew turkey or some, turkey some shit. Or yeah, yeah. You yeah. yeah. Turn it into no, something. I agree. You got to you got to recreate it because uh, after that, it's it, no. no. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Brock Lively. He wants to know how old is too old to be stuck sitting at the kids' table at Thanksgiving? I'd rather be at the kids' table. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> not for that reason. Oh, it's not for that reason. No. You sure? Yes. Okay. Thank you God. Dick. Yes. They're family, JP. Yes. <laughs> you, you don't want to do piece of shit. You don't want to do that. <laughs> My God. Just saying. Man. Well, I don't even want to answer this question no, anymore. No, I think, no. Honestly, <laughs> like, what if you come over to my Thanksgiving and we put you at the kids' table? You wouldn't do that. Fuck no, I wouldn't, because yeah. I'm terrified for their future right. at that point. Exactly. I ain't worried about that. Uh-huh. But what do you think is too, what, how, like, how old is too old? It depends, man. Like, I, my grandparents would sit at the kids' table sometimes with the grandkids, and they love it. Oh. Were they like you, too? No. Oh, okay. I just... You Darn. dick. <laughs> so was they like you too? Right? Yeah, yeah, my grandpa and grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> my two grandpas used to yep. love sitting yep. at the kids' table. With. I remember, yeah, yeah. I remember the day. They tosses like from lap to lap. <laughs> Just having fun. Grandpa Fred sometimes would end up under the table. I don't know what he was doing down there. Uh, like sorry. To smell my seat when I got up. Yeah, uh, he's, yeah a he's a sniffer. He's a seat smeller. <laughs> he's a sniffer. Jesus Christ. Never invite the sniffer. Uh, no, like seriously, what's what's the what's the youngest you can say? I, I think it's cares? I think it's thirteen. Who this cares? is a dumb fucking yeah. question. Uh, no, this no, this is this no, is it's not question. a dumb question. Only somebody that's not mentally mature will give a fuck about yeah. what table they sit. Brock Lively. Stupid fucking question. Oh no, I think this is a great no, question. It's a dumb well, you would. No, That's, because it I was a legitimate you. thing. I like, granted we I I am a part of a very large family. Like there's six six brothers. Well, you and, should and, get it and I've got anyone. shit loads and of cousins. Y'all segregate everybody. Yeah. yeah. Like we had the kids table and like that was kind of a big move up to get to the adult table and that was like rich we, rich white people. I, I mean we like, had man. a kids Hierarchy. table. But it was yeah. just for when we were smaller, they just had a smaller table. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. As soon as you was big enough to get to an adult table, you sat with. The, That's what I'm saying. And then you but, didn't want to. You just got your plate and left. Right, but I'm five foot six. I'm not very tall, so I was never big enough for the adult table. I was always oh, big enough so for the kids' table. So you're still sitting at the kids' so table. So I'm still sitting there, and I'm you, really excited that's to why move it's on. That's important to him. Yeah. Yes, he he makes sense. he's never made. He's God. never. He never made it. And then when he do get to sit at him, his feet dangle. Yeah. No, I mean they get me a high chair and everything like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> that, way I got, I, that, that way I make at least a little, you know, sense. Oh, but anyways, uh, next one or last one. Uh, this was literally f coming from everybody. Everybody made this comment. And so I can't give any individual a, a credit, but they want to know how many full plates at Thanksgiving is too many. No such thing. There is no such thing. Thing. Right. Yeah, unless your family just trying to be cheap. Yeah. yeah. Dude, eat I don't as know, much man. food as you can. I never had Thanksgiving with Biggs before, but I think there might be actually a there may be oh. a fucking limit. It it, it makes us people like, comment, maybe. Yeah. But Biggs done lost almost a Dude, person. Unreal, right? No shit. We I were bet you got that a couple I weeks bet you ago. His, I bet you can put his knees in his stomach now. Like, I bet probably he could too. like a blanket. Yeah. Yeah, he, I saw him yesterday, as a matter I know, of fact. I know a chick that lost a lot Crazy of weight, and dude. she had hella loose skin. Yeah. And she creeped me the hell out one time. She just put her Ooh. knees in her t t stomach skin like a, a snuggly. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. And I was looking at my, 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 my brother-in-law oh, like, I can't you, do you it. fucking this? Mm. <laughs> oh, mm. gross. Like, uh, He's like, yeah, I stay warm, too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like <laughs> Like, gotta be the money. She probably had the sweatpants that said cutie on. Uh, mm. oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's That's Where I Draw the Line. Uh, now we get to move on to the fun part. Because there's quite a few of these, and I want to get through them. But this is some good shit. So thank you guys, all of you who participated in, uh, what is it? Happy Monthsgiving. Months whatever. Giving. Monthsgiving. Hope all of you guys get to your destination safely, and thank you for participating. We're going to kick this off with Alex Shinover. He wants to know, bad conversations to have at Thanksgiving with your very religious family. Anything JP's talking about. Guys, this is my really <laughs> good friend, JP. 
Hey. Just so happens to thanks, be. Thanks for inviting me. Normally on Thanksgiving, <laughs> I'd be I'd be balls deep in a dude. <laughs> so I would just like to thank you, fine people, for allowing me here. When, you, when they asked JP what part of the turkey, you like, give me the neck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I love to suck on a good turkey neck. Just give me the asshole. Just just yeah, just cut yeah. the Maybe asshole out for me. That'd be great. Right. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> they walk in, I'm just fucking the turkey. <laughs> you said this was a boy, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, next one comes in from Liz Perkins. Uh, she, she, oh, Liz. Liz. Yeah. Yeah. Liz really? Perkins. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know she even listened to the show. I didn't either. Uh, she wants to know, what hmm. is a dumb thing that you did that you are proud of? Hmm. A dumb thing a that dumb I did. A dumb thing. You got nothing, really? I don't know if I'm proud of any of it. You went to work. You you made a paycheck. Like stuff you're supposed to do. Yeah, I mean I do that all the time. Like uh, but that is that a dumb thing? Is that what she's talking no, about? No, I don't know. <coughs> what is a dumb thing that you did that you are proud of? I I, 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 I I'll, okay. I'll go ahead. I'll go first. Um, I still scream Kobe whenever I hit the trash can from far away. And, and you're I, proud of I'm that? I'm fucking proud of it. Okay. No, like being able that's to weird. fucking shoot a piece of trash mm -hmm. into the in the in sure, the dumpster, man. I think it's cool. That's me. But okay. whatever. Uh you got anything down there, Uncle Bam? Mm. Uh I make parody songs out of everything. Dude, where the fuck is your album? Yeah, uh, I shit. That's the problem. I've been trying to do one for years. I can't get a producer and do all I that got shit. Your hook yeah, up I, there. Oh, I've been man. trying to do a pair. I got like hella parody songs in my head, but it, I I just hear a song and and make me and my kids do it. We make parody songs or we do British voices and stupid shit like that. But you see, do a British voice? Yeah, we do odd man. We do so, voices. Do you do an Irish voice? Nah, we ain't fuck with Ireland. Uh, we yet. know a guy that does an Irish retard voice. Yeah, Derek. <laughs> it's pretty good too. It's pretty good. It's actually I'm not gonna pretty lie. Good. Yeah, he had me believing. He did. Uh, he's pretty convincing. He is very that might convincing. Have been his natural voice. He probably yeah, right. That's how he normally sounds. That's, he changes it up for he when he's around us. Yep, yeah, that makes perfect sense. That's uh, why Katie wasn't surprised. That's that right. Makes sense. Now he's going to have a Canadian accent though. So I don't know sense. what dumb thing that I do that I'm. I guess I smoke a lot of fucking weed, and I'm proud of that. Yeah, that is true. I do enjoy it. Uh huh. Uh, I guess. I uh, that's know. fine. No, that's fine. Let's buy bowling balls. Yeah, dude. yes, dude. I, mean, I agree. That's, that's dumb, just but bowling in uh, general. Obviously, you to have a closet full of yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. I, I know most families well, might have I, one per person. Once full. I came out of the closet, I was he like, I got all this room. I got to put something in there. I got to put something in there. <laughs> yeah. Fucking fill up some. That's of how space. gay he was. Yeah. Twenty four bowling balls that's worth right. of gay. Absolutely. You walk into you walk into somebody's house and they got yeah. How, how heavy? Like fifteen pounds, seventeen? Yeah. Fifteen and sixteen. Yeah, oh, that's a lot Jesus of that's a Christ. lot of gay. That's yeah. a lot of gay that you yeah. had built up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Uh Justin Lane wants to know if you had the same outfit every day like a cartoon character, what would you choose to wear? I wore it on this week's episode. <laughs> My, <laughs> <laughs> Never dressed like this, but I dressed like it for this particular answer. I think I'd look. I look like me, right? I look like a a, a gun. Only Holmes, a, a gun owning <laughs> yeah. kind of uh, redneck, but not quite. Yeah, uh, like, yeah. I yeah. think I do yeah. like a thick flannel though. That dude is good. Mm -hmm. Fucking warm. It's good. I like it. I'll take it. And with the hay dude, with with the hay yet, dudes on. So I'm doing good. You look like you should be smuggling drugs. Yeah, and I think JP also actually wore his cartoon outfit. He's got a he's got a Puma shirt that I've seen him wear on multiple episodes of the show yeah, that has man. the rainbow flag in it, which pretty yeah, much man. identifies him. So Don't I think call that's out his limited wardrobe like that on the air. Just, oh my God, man! This Rich guy. people just be oh I know because they can afford clothes. Yeah, yeah, real cool, man. I bought you clothes. Yeah, man, I love them. <laughs> I've worn both of those shirts you on the have. show. So. You totally have. Yeah. Fucker. Uh, how about you down there, Uncle Bam? Uh, I guess when I was younger, I used to wear dicky suits all the time. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, that's a good one. Did you wear Timberlands, too? Uh, no, nah, I wasn't that East Coast. I did Timberlands. Yeah, I wasn't that. Yeah. I was, like I was me. More, like me. I was in Chucks. I and, did. And Cortez. You did Chucks? Yeah, I was the fat red lady. Did you hear, did you hear what he wore? 
Timberlands. Tim, to, he, Timberlands. 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 He probably had uh, Timberlands. Timberlands. They're called Tim. They still had the leech and uh, he still had the hanging Tim's. rope from the trees. But on you the called. You said Timberlands. Well, I just want to make sure yeah. we're on the same page. Timberlands. This Timberlands got me a nice pair of Timberlands. Still had the hanging rope on the trees. Oh, Tim. Fucking Tim's. Leave the fuck alone. Timberlands. Mine still got the rope on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> got them for Christmas with a hard R. Timberland. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, okay, uh, all right, fucking man. Make my joke. All Shut right. the fuck up. Uh, next one comes in from Ian Hotter. He wants to know rejected names for arranged marriages. <clears throat> Rape is what that is. Thank you. JP? Rejected names for arranged marriages. Uh, I don't think you can reject shit when it's arranged. Yeah, I mean, you got to do it. <laughs> you got to take what you Child get. sex trafficking. Did you know marriages lasted longer and families was more stronger when they did arranged marriages? Yeah, it doesn't mean it's right. I mean, I'd take it right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, I hope she. Got I, th- I think uh, 80% of the world would probably take a strong, healthy relationship now than over some lovey what dovey you, emotional what shit. What would you consider to be healthy, though? I like, mean, the girl so. had no rights. She couldn't leave. She was forced to stay. Oh, shit, I crazy. don't know why we don't go back to that. I mean, so yeah. we're going back to that. <laughs> yeah. Just Long saying. Arrange more than one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> oh shit what do you call it jp i uh gay hetero heroes <laughs> i don't know all right that's Rejected fair Rejected names for range mayor i don't know no that's fine uh the I last start reading these i know you do i know you do uh, <laughs> ain't gonna happen. the last two come from taylor morosky it's been a minute since we've heard from yeah taylor. man good to hear from her yeah uh but anyways taylor wants to know uh things you shouldn't have to explain to an adult how to properly wipe your ass. <laughs> well, how do you properly do it? Front to back or back to front? Well, I wipe away from my balls. <laughs> okay. That way I ain't wiping shit to my balls. I wipe I wipe back to front. <laughs> <laughs> Always have. You wipe back so you wipe doo doo to your balls? Yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't get there though. It doesn't get it doesn't get to the balls. I'm just saying. You ain't never had no of them slimy wipes. They're just super slick. And nah. just, your nah. balls is dirty. No, my balls are clean, dude. No. Nah, nah. not, 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 not after what I smelled earlier. <laughs> 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 yeah. Never go straight up to the motherfuckers. <laughs> that's the direction your hair go. There's no hair left. That ain't the hair right <laughs> off. That you. motherfucker is smooth as a ping pong ball. Oh, Jesus yeah, you Christ. You shouldn't have to explain how to wipe your ass. I agree. At ball. least wipe your ass. I don't care in what direction, but yeah, I agree. Uh, me, put up your fucking shopping cart. Oh, boy. That is a pet peeve of mine. I will never get over. If I see it happening, I will probably create a scene. So put up your Turn fucking shopping cart. Karen. Uh, dude, I, I'm not even joking. It absolutely infuriates me. So, yeah, that's mine. What about you, babe? Or, uh, uh, no, J- uh, JP. That you should cut your toenails every, more than every fucking <laughs> six months. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got them Wolverines. Mm. Jesus Christ. I I haven't cut mine in like two and a half weeks, and they're getting fucking ridiculously long. So I'm going to I got to get my feet done with my women. So What in the fuck? Like, I, I want to hang out with you, Bam. Yeah, sounds no. like a fun time. <clears throat> For you. <laughs> it sounds like a fun time. <laughs> you don't want to do that, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Saying I'm not cool? No, no I didn't right. say that, man. You're one of my best friends. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And last one from Taylor comes in. She wants to know, things your spouse has said to you that you wouldn't be able to say back to them. So I saw this question whenever she posted it, and I'm, I thought about it. <laughs> Stick it in my ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, it. Who's your spouse? That's it. Yeah. You. That's the only one. That's all I got. Yeah. And I think that that is the. Yeah. yeah anything <laughs> ass related? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. I'm out. No. Or, if she uh, said that's me, I'd, I'd, I'd or oblige. She can call you fat. You can't call her fat. Oh, no. Sure. I call her fat all the time. I do. Crazy. And she's it's not fat. wild. No. no, she's not. No, That's I why just, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. So I just say right. that. Because she'd be like, whatever, yeah. motherfucker. I'm no, skinny just, as shit. No, it if makes you. She was fat. She she, yeah, she's fat. She'd it kick makes, your ass. It makes you look fat, is what I say. Mm. And then she's like, hey, can I drive? And I'm like, no, you need to be in the passenger seat. I'm like, no, I, I'm the only one who can drive and vote. 
and uh, make the money. You stay home, clean the house. That mm-hmm. kind of stuff. I see why they say you don't have black friends. You still live. <laughs> In the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Uh, do you got anything down there, Uncle Bam? Uh, I just said uh, okay. all of them fat or something like that. So, okay. Uh, body shaming wise. You yes. know, they can talk bad about us, but see, we can't uh, say it back. Yeah, I disagree. I just. That's, that's I mean, I put it in joke joke format, so I can. Okay, that's fair. So, yeah, that's fair. Anyway. But you just can't be like, "Look, bitch, you fat." <laughs> All right, fair enough, ladies and gentlemen. That is this week's questions and preguntas. Again, thank you guys so much for participating in. Uh, happy th- uh, Thanksgiving, I think is what it was. There so yeah, yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, but now. We get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Um, Derek Alders won. Shocker. Wow. Oh, He's not here today, so that means that JP won. <laughs> I did the Trump dance. Uh, but anyways, uh, so that means that JP gets the championship picks by a technicality, which is totally fine and totally we'll allowable on this it. episode. Uh, I got dead last, which, uh, you know. Womp, womp. Yeah. Uh, but I still get the second uh, pick, or the, uh, the what do we call it, sandwich picks, the Eiffel Tower picks, and then Uncle Bam has never been on the Laughing on the Sidelines episodes before, so he gets the first overall pick, and what? It's kind of like reparations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I'd God. I'd my reparations. God yeah, damn yeah, it. I know you would. I wonder if they do reparations, like, am I going to get the whole amount, or am I only going to get, get a, a percent? Part, yeah, no, 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 no. You're going to get the FEMA amount. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this week, of course, we have Thanksgiving, uh, at, at least when this episode drops, uh, Thanksgiving will be tomorrow. So what other than our favorite Thanksgiving foods uh, is going to be the draft? That's going to be the draft that we all get to have. That means the sides, the main dish, all of that shit. And Uncle Bam gets the first overall pick. So Uncle Bam, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Um. I'm gonna go with the, the stuffing. I okay. Like the stuffing there. Dang it! You took it from JP. <laughs> you did. Wow. Oh, man. Man, my family made fire stuff. But I have but to say, had the turkey in it. And no, everything. it has to be stovetop, man. No. Stovetop. Oh, I love we it. We make so ours much, from dude. scratch. Yeah, no, I don't like it. You don't like it if it's not. Nope. It's got to be stovetop, baby. Well, we'll see when I bring you some. Nope. Thursday. I won't like it. I'm gonna tell you a stovetop. Is I put okay. the little fake. Partially sprinkled. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> I doctored up to look horrible. Yeah, I doctored up to look like yeah. it came out of okay. box. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, that shit's on uh, sale two for four right now. I got me a whole cabinet full. Yeah, that's, that's, All right, I, I can't fuck this up. I've got to do the right thing. Number one, like in my opinion, the 101 is always going to be the turkey. Okay. The, tu- the turkey is the number one. I'm not a big But you're doing an oven turkey. Huh? No, just turkey in general. I don't care if you deep fry it. I don't care. Oh, okay. I don't care if you do any. I don't give a shit. Turkey is the number one like thing, and the most traditional and stuff. It's not my favorite, but have, I'm gonna pick the turkey. Well, that's how you trick me talking about your favorite. I would have. I know. To go with the turkey. I know. Like, do I'm, your I'm like, well, trying shit, to win a goddamn draft right over here, Where's that? So JP, you get two in a row. Okay. Okay, and don't don't do it. I'm going with. The mashed potatoes. Oh, mashed potatoes! And noodles. Oh! The, like the fucking... Is that your second pick? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, boy. You don't have noodles like the fucking... Thing. No. My grandma makes them by hand. Fucking no. Fucking thick old mashed potatoes. What and the noodles, f- Like chicken and noodles, kind of. Oh, like chicken and noodles? Kind of, yeah, like like that. Are we going Is it the, on the same dish? Yeah, dude. Well, then no. That I mean, so so do you have two picks or one pick? That's two. So you got like chicken, dumpling, mashed potatoes? That What the hell? Yeah. What white bullshit are you doing? Oh, Bro, I've never heard of no. No. You don't, put noodle, just, you don't have noodles for Thanksgiving? Your grandma, no. Like, what's in the cabinet? No. Put this in. 
Okay. You man. put no. noodles in your mashed potatoes? See, I'm, yeah, I'm on Bam's side here. What that bullshit is, is this? Bro, that's like. Come on, man. That's all y'all you had in the cabinet at the time? No, and y'all man. Just that's made every that year, bro. Oh, my God. Was your granny locked up in some, a special prison? Yeah. Like for a minute. <laughs> yeah, for a minute. Wholesome. Wholesome prison. <laughs> like mashed potatoes and noodles. That. What kind of bullshit is this? Are you guys serious? Dead serious. I've never heard of Am them I going crazy? together. Yes. What? Yes. These are the two worst Dude, picks I've ever come had. Over for Thanksgiving. Oh my god! I don't want that. No, I don't you either. Do. You said like chicken and dumpling noodles. Yeah. And mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank All right, God. Man. I get I get one oh two. God damn it, bro! Please, I, I get, can't be I, the only one. I know you're the you, only I one. I bet you that half a million views. I ain't heard of that. Bullshit. No, no, absolutely not. I'm gonna go with ham. The fucking ham is the number two of all of them. Okay, what if you say so? Ham man. is the shit. You're going for all the meats. Uh, absolutely. You like Arby's over here? No, surprisingly, I am. But you're the one who likes all the meats. I don't like meat. Uh, okay, I that's like fine. dick. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not a big meat eater. Okay. The way he set me up, like, yeah, what sides? <laughs> yeah, 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 he does that shit. I do. Or if you tell him your answers beforehand, he'll steal them. No, I won't. He does that shit. Too. I never do that. <laughs> He's done so that. full of shit. You do it all the time, man. Uncle Bam. You get two in a row, so you get two picks in a row. What do you got? Uh, mac and cheese. Ah, uh, that's a good pick. And barbecue. What do you mean, like barbecue? You got to like be more we specific. We do brisket, we do chicken, we do okay. product. We smoke every, almost everything. Every well, so so you. you, you Just you smoke meats. Smoke, well. Now that I can get behind. <laughs> 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 Look, if you're smoking them and not eating them, then I'm going to get behind that. Pick You got to pick one. Uh, so if you, were, if you were to do barbecue, like what is your favorite barbecue at Thanksgiving? Oh, uh, man. It's, you took the turkey. I did take the turkey. That's why you can't pick barbecue because that's, I that's, I'm to, I'm that's to, some cheating. <laughs> <bullshit. laughs> you better go with brisket. You better go with brisket. No, I ain't never had brisket on Thanksgiving. Okay, so, all right. Um, what other meats have I had on Thanksgiving? Uh, just think it's shit that you smoke. That's the that's the easiest way that to do it. Usually, you got you got to uh, like Cornish smoke. hens. What Cornish hens are good. Cornish, smoke. Cornish hens. Yeah. Uh, mm, good call. Wow. That's way better than turkey or ham. Fuck turkey and ham. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Okay, fine. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Okay, yeah, I'm going to take this one. because My list is already fucking... It's way too strong. So I'm going to go ahead and take the number one dessert for Thanksgiving. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin fucking pie. Okay, cool, dude. Pumpkin pie. That wasn't my next pick. Good. Your picks are off the wall. You just did yeah. mashed potatoes and noodles. Yeah, I got more yeah, for you. Yeah, I got over, more for you. Dip dip don't shit you over here is complaining. Okay. He's like, oh, yeah. but I picked chicken and noodles. Tell me liver and onions or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah liver <laughs> and JP's next pick, liver and onions. <laughs> Fucking moron. What do you got, JP? You get two in a row. Let's see how much you can fuck this up. A Scottish meat Green pie. bean casserole. Okay, that's good. That's a good that's pick. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yep. I was one I was going to And then my mom always makes me cooked carrots, like baby carrots, Some smothered carrot. in cheese. Oh, God. Carrots and cheese? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fucking shit? Bro, I eat cheese on everything. I've never had carrots and cheese. Dude, what is good, just, bro. Just carrots and cheese on top. I think we know how, how he became bro. gay. I think I think, I think it was. How was they feeding me? I don't understand. Dude, come and eat some of this stuff. No, you will I'm, love it. This no, shit I will, don't go together? It does. I, I will never come. Baby carrots. No. Okay, so is it, it's a little baby, little carrots, baby or, carrots or just sliced up. No, the little baby carrots. The sweet carrots. Yeah. And then and me- like Velveeta and fucking sour cream and something else. And fucking. You must good. shit once a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, his is, uh, his is, his is stretched Bro. out enough to where it, it just falls out. It just falls out. Yeah. Mashed potatoes Whatever and dumpling eat. noodles and yeah. carrots and cheese. What yeah, the, man. I can't be the only one to think this shit's absurd. I don't. <laughs> like, <that's> just, <laughs> Look, if the black guy's like, I can't believe you're eating that. Like, I've done, went off the rails. <laughs> way off the rails. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I hog mall. Oh, yeah, God. This motherfucker. <laughs> Shitless. Possums and yeah. squirrels. And this <laughs> motherfucker talking about carrots and cheese. Okay, okay. I'm going to go with the Hawaiian rolls. Oh, they're good. Yeah. Good get the call. fuck up. Yeah, that's a great oh, pick. That's a great way pick. better than yeah. fucking. Damn. Cooked carrots with cheese. Yo, they're good. It's oh, good. Fuck. Oh, that was good shit, God. man. God. All right. Uh, and then Uncle Bam, you get your last two picks. Last two picks. Last two. 
Uh, I don't really eat it, but I know it's a staple to to a Thanksgiving meal. So cranberry sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Hard pass yeah, on that. I know I don't fuck with it either. I, I don't fuck with it either, but uh, everybody yeah. has it. Yeah, and it's yeah. all in the, the it, can shaped. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm so bad. I, I, I go to a family thing and they'll have it out there and won't nobody touch it. I'm like, no. why did I even put it out there? Like, it's supposed to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Uh, so let me see what else. Mm. I'm still thinking. So you take your fucking time. Shit. Uh, let see. I got a solid list. Me too. No, your list sucks. <laughs> no, that's what you think. You'll see. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I, Scallop I, potatoes. Okay. All right. That's good. Oh, damn it. <sighs> All right. Scallop potatoes. And JP's got mashed potatoes. Okay. I've got to try to think of, of something. French fried potatoes. No. <laughs> tater tots. <laughs> the ever popular Thanksgiving tater tots. <laughs> Tater tots. Yeah, fuck yeah. You know what? I'm going to double up on tater tot casserole. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I got I got pumpkin pie. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And I I don't like I don't know giblets. No. No, I'm I'm good there. And you got the green bean casserole, which would be my actually like favorite thing about that. Mm, so no. the, you, uh, if it's cooked of right, all of all of your picks, that's the only one where I'm like good. That's pick, the only JP. one that's normal. Yeah, exactly. That's Mashed what I'm saying. Uh, no, the I mean, casserole. Yeah, oh. yeah. The Mashed casserole. You said casseroles and noodles. Yeah, you Mashed said they potato. go together. They do. So they absolutely do. They don't fucking go. Mashed together. potatoes, gravy, noodles, all of it. Fucking. Mm. All right. Throw a little turkey up on there. I, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with probably my favorite pie because I, I just can't. I got to make a safe pick because I'm winning. You don't have a meal. Yeah, I do. You got turkey, ham, it, pumpkin <laughs> pie, and Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> That's a great meal. That's a great fucking what you meal. Need, what you need is some mashed potatoes and noodles. I don't need I don't need Just meat You dessert. need a side. Absolutely. You and that's how I. Side. You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to go with cherry pie. So okay. that's what I got. Two right. meats, cherry, two pies. Cherry, and some, yeah. Two and pies. That like something you eat, too. Two like, pies, some meat. No sides. And some fucking, yeah. And no a wine vegetables. roll. No vegetables. No. Fuck vegetables. No, no healthy. I'm the exact opposite of vegan. Get fucked. Okay. All right. JP, you get your last overall pick. The vegetable right. is a sweet roll. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hawaiian roll. But the pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what a pumpkin is? It's actually a fruit, I think. But you yeah, know what? So. It's kind of a vegetable. But anyway. JP, what's your last pick? Ramen noodles. Okay. Because that's what I'm really going to be eating on uh, Thanksgiving. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Two sets of noodles. <laughs> yeah, man. I love noodles. I was going to pick mac and cheese, too, but you beat me to it. Let me break something down to you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to two of yours. I'm very happy. You had to go off the wall. Give me cans very and happy. cheese. Ain't nobody gonna eat that shit. <laughs> do any of you guys have some things that like? Uh, excuse I me, do, that, but that, I'm that, afraid that, to say. Them. No, well, I mean, like, okay, the draft is over, so we have our lists. But does anybody have some like really like untraditional stuff that? Uh, really? Oh yeah, no. JP's entire fucking yes. list. Well, then why are you asking me dumb questions? Like, I look, think JP look, look didn't Uncle have Bam. turkey. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Bam over here is fucking tearing up yeah, because JP, he's fucking laughing his yeah, shit off. I feel sorry for JP's I do too. I feel sorry for him as well. Like those main dishes, mac and cheese, uh, potatoes and noodles. Yeah, and potatoes, can I change my cheese? ramen noodle one to what? Deviled eggs. Okay, there yeah, you go. That's, that that's more that that strengthens. I love deviled eggs. That strengthens your we, your list. We make fire. Yeah, You'll yeah. That food. that's a good one. Yeah, absolutely. I will let that got one noodles. Slide. <laughs> no, <I won't. laughs> bro, I don't eat nothing. You can get on commissary. Oh, okay. Like a, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If I ever go to jail, I want this shit to be Flaming delicacies. hot Cheetos. Yeah, no, none, of, none, none of, that. of that. None of that shit. No, like I have one Honey that I, bones. I, I feel nope. like maybe my family's a little bit weird, but we have like smoked bologna. Do you guys ever had smoked bologna before? As I start getting money, I start eating poor people food. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. That right. makes well, sense. Well, I, I, mean, I guess that's how y'all uh, make amends or whatever. That's yeah, how yeah. That's how we that's how we get us down keep, to your guys' keep level. It, keep y'all down to earth. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> smoke some bologna. Smoke some bologna. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to yeah, do it. Yeah. Who buys a big thing of bologna and smoke it? That don't even sound good. Apparently white people. Yeah. Me. 
My yeah, family does. We, we only got baloney because it was the cheapest yeah, meat right. that was that's, out there. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and we knew that was just a concoction of shit. Oh. <laughs> oh I just now thought nobody said fried chicken. <laughs> who the that's, fuck who fucks makes fried chicken on Thanksgiving? Yeah, we have fried it? chicken on Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, even when and we I'm was, weird. We did like six years of non-traditional Thanksgivings, and we didn't do fried chicken not one time. Not one time? We Dude. did like seafood oh, one man. year. We did barbecue. That's when we started smoking the turkeys. and then, like We didn't even do turkeys for oh, like shit, eight dude. years. No, nah, we did fried chicken and Kool-Aid one year. We did. <laughs> now I get it, JP. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry to do we it. did Chinese food one year. No, we legitimately did this. Probably stole, Great we, probably, we probably stole that pet bull from a black family. That's why, <laughs> that's why it's always nice to black people when they oh, come over. You be like, take me home. <laughs> I motherfucker stole me when I was two months. You guys have way better food than we do. <laughs> Wait, you haven't had your watermelon yet. <laughs> oh, no. No, that one's a little, mm. little too far. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this is this <laughs> week's last. Kool-Aid was okay, though. That was, yeah, that was, that was fun. fun. No, I got fucking to part. Great. I got to participate in one of those. That was fu- the, one of the funniest fucking birthdays I've ever been a part of. The fried chicken Kool Aid. Fried birthday? chicken and Kool Aid birthday. Yeah. And that was a black person or a white yeah. friend. No, oh, black. No, no, it was my best friend. Yeah, it was Michi. For he sure. turned. I think he turned twenty two years old, and he had and everybody that was over. The theme? I was the, no. It was just the food that we had, and it was hilarious because I was the only white dude there, and the food that they provided was fried chicken, and the drink was Kool Aid. And I looked at my best friend, and I was just like. You've got to be fucking kidding me, right? And he's like, nah, dog, this is what we're doing. I'm like, you guys are going to make me fucking racist for the rest of my life. And then I started, and then I started a show, a podcast like this one. And guess what? That's the running fucking joke. So congratulations. You made it happen. Uh, But ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines (laughs) draft. Like I'm trying to move on. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can go and vote for your favorite list of uh, Thanksgiving food at facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or X, which is L O T sidelines. Y'all white guilt should have y'all vote for my list. <laughs> yeah. You know what? <laughs> if you got some white guilt, vote for Bam. Don't vote for JP or myself. Yeah, vote actually, for Bam. Give, if you give like Scotty noodles. negative points for. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no shit. No shit. But if you like poor man meals, that's just. Made of what you got left. JP's your person. That's true. Absolutely. Who the fuck puts carrots? Cheese on <laughs> carrots, man. Like brown yeah. sugar, yeah. honey. Like, oh, yeah. God, what the, the fuck, fuck are you doing? Fucking but cheese. ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single part of this episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines sure. shitty situation of the week. Uh, brought to you, ladies and gentlemen, by Uncle <laughs> Bam. Yeah. Uncle Bam. Yes, sir. It was fun. Yes, it's, it's been and a And ladies and gentlemen, JP. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Oh. Oh, All right. Lord have mercy. Uh, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's great. Uh, would you rather have to eat at Thanksgiving uh, carrots and cheese or your best friend's butthole chocolate? Hmm. Bam. I'm, I'm actually really curious uh, on what uh, what I, I, dipshit over here I, is going to do. I'm going to be honest. Uh, we know what you would eat. Probably both. You don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. going with both. <laughs> yeah. He got me. He got you. I'm going with both. I'm going with uh, both. But, uh, Absolutely, 100%. I, I eat uh, my close male friend's butthole chocolate. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some cheap, okay. JP. That, that J- don't sound like it's supposed to go together. <laughs> it's good, man. And especially on Thanksgiving, like a struggle meal. Yes. <laughs> Like, all I got is cheese and carrots. <laughs> That's it. Oh, God. But if I'm coming to your family dinner and it's Thanksgiving and you can pull that out like it's a delicacy, I'll be like, man, I done came to the wrong damn house. <laughs> give, me the, give me some of them butthole chocolates over there on the table. <laughs> These motherfuckers tripping. <laughs> JP is going to uh, get the service <laughs> to where they send him the mold to do his butthole and send me back a whole bunch of chocolates because I am never eating carrots and cheese. 
You stupid fuck! <laughs> what are you doing? What are your what's your motherfuckers in doing? jail? I don't even need uh, that. Right? They're sitting there going, "This looks disgusting," and they are forced to eat yeah, it, and like, they still don't. You pull that out for them, they be like, "So, so what we do? We have some cheese and carrots, <laughs> some cheese and cooked carrots. Gross." So at least you know what? As a positive, JP, I'm going to eat your asshole. I mean, if there's a positive that's coming out, God, of I've been of this. waiting for the day you said that. <laughs> I've been waiting for the day for you to say those words. I know, I know. Oh man, oh, I hope God. you like chocolate. Clip that up, yeah, yeah. I hope Clip you like you chocolate. I hope they send enough Check play-doh mark. for the mold. That's all I know. Absolutely, they, they might want to send me two kits. <laughs> Absolutely, that thing is wide open. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much for tuning into another episode of the Laughing on the Sideline podcast and thank you very much uncle bam yeah thank you for having us absolutely i guarantee you something this will not be the last time you are on this show i enjoy this man absolutely dude i'm gonna have to start coming to do some research and watch out (laughs) it's a lot of fun and and also uh do you have any shows coming up soon uh december 7th at champs okay here in Wichita, Here in Kansas. Wichita. All right, guys, do us a favor. If you haven't already, go and follow Uncle Bam. What do you? Yeah. What's your? What's your uh, uh, handles? Uncle Bam twenty four everywhere. Everywhere. There you go. Go and follow Uncle Bam. I, I'm so sorry it's taken us this long <laughs> to do this, oh, dude. Man, I, I, we can do the. I got a plenty, man. All <laughs> right, dude. Well, I guarantee it won't be the last time you've seen Uncle Bam. But Uncle Bam, thank you very much. And as always, JP. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very, very much. Uh, I, I don't mean to shit on your family, but it kind of needs you to be what? done. I'm just saying, I, like, I just, like, I don't get it, man. He's sitting here looking on his phone. It's not no, going to help. it's not my phone. It's not my phone. I mean, I'm looking <clears throat> on my phone, but what? Like, it's because my mom was calling me. Oh, was she calling you? Yeah. Oh, are you going to call her back? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those, just the fact that those two dishes is on y'all plate is sad. No, you need to t- put it on speakerphone. Put it on speakerphone. Why are you doing? I don't yeah. understand what you're doing. You, you're trying to have her tell us Hello? about your carrots and cheese. Yeah, I'm screening. I'm actually doing the podcast right now. No, no, don't be sorry. No, we actually have a question uh, about a particular dish that's being made for Thanksgiving, and we don't understand it, but he said something about cooked carrots and cheese. Um, what's that? You cook baby carrots and you uh, steam them. Uh huh. Get them almost done, and then you cut up uh, Velveeta cheese. Uh huh. And some cubes. Put just a little bit of milk and butter in the bottom of the dish, then put the cheese on, stick it in the oven, and melt the cheese down. That's it, right? It sounds it sounds delicious. And they said we they don't have noodles and mashed potatoes either. Oh uh, man, I know a lot of people don't, but that's, that's you're right. Yeah, a lot of people. Mom, don't. they're making fun of me, man. <laughs> I don't I don't like it, mom. <laughs> We're not making fun. Of, we just didn't understand. We don't understand. I invited them for Thanksgiving. They told me to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's not y'all Thanksgiving meal, is it? Yeah, that's not a, that's not what y'all have on Thanksgiving. That's just like a a regular yeah like, regular meal before y'all go grocery shopping meal. No, <laughs> no. she's like fuck it. No, hey, all right, mom, we're gonna finish the show. I'll call you in a little bit. All right, I love you. That's the bill. You you could be like, we ain't got we ain't, can't go to the store to the mall. Uh, what we got? Velveeta, we got carrots. Velveeta, noodles, and uh, potatoes. And okay, carrots. Right. Yeah. carrots. We got carrots. God help me, man. Nobody Velveeta wants to eat these ain't fucking even carrots. Real cheese. Y'all gonna be blocked up. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Jake, you know what? Sorry. This, <laughs> sorry. This episode got so derailed, but I'm kind of glad it oh, did. Uh, thank you to Ooh. both of you, beautiful individuals. Uh, do check them out. Uh, I know uh, it's at Uncle Bam twenty four. You said right? Yes, sir. Yes, Uncle sir. Bam twenty four. You can go and follow him everywhere. Please do that. JP doesn't have social media. He's still eating carrots and fucking Velveeta cheese. Yeah, man. I'm still on the <laughs> carrots and cheese. <laughs> he is unavailable. Uh, <laughs> 
But ladies and gentlemen, oh, thank you guys so God. very much for growing this podcast uh, to what it is today. It's unbelievable. Thank you all That's of the new. That's probably going to blow up on the internet. Somebody going to start uh, yeah, making that. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Somebody's like, going to make people that. People do make it. No, Good people kids. fucking don't. No, they don't. God damn it. Uh, but Even thank- your mama <laughs> recognizes. it. She's like, yeah. Not a whole bunch of other people do it <laughs> because it's disgusting as shit. She didn't <laughs> say that. They're not full of starches and cheese just sitting around their house. <laughs> Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for doing what you do. And as we always like to say, uh, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, we hope your drunk uncle touches you during your Thanksgiving nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. If it's not stovetop, it's not Thanksgiving. <laughs> until next time, keep, keep laughing, laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>